Good evening. I wanted to do a quick review on a couple of GPS devices for dogs and tell you the story, I guess, behind how I came up with the one that I decided to choose to use. Um, first of all, I have to say that I'm not affiliated with any of the companies that I'm talking about. I'm definitely not a certified dog trainer. Um, I do have personal dogs, and I have forever. I do not let my ru dogs run loose without me. But occasionally, a deer, a uh, turkey, or some other wildlife comes by, and my dog might take after it. Uh, we, we live in a rural area, and that happens occasionally. So when I first got the pup that I have now, who, by the way, is amazingly fast and can carry a long distance in a short period of time, I thought, I really need to get a GPS for her and see if that will help you know, me identify and not worry so much if she takes off, I'll know where she is. So I did all the research, and I came up with the two that I thought were the best as far as things like battery life and and the components that they had and I had broken it down at that point between the whistle and the five and so I ended up purchasing the whistle which cost about $129 and I got the subscription which was about $95.40 a year at least that's what it was yesterday because I looked them up before I made this video and I used it for about a year. So I think I'm at um, just about a year right now. About 10 months into it, uh, the device that connects it to the collar broke. And it wasn't covered under the warranty, so I, I called and replaced it. And then about a month ago, I noticed that on the back of the device, there's a little tab there that holds it onto the collar. And that had broken. It was still staying on the collar, but... I thought if I'm going to stay with this device, I'm probably going to have to replace it. And it's, it will essentially be, you know, the whole outlay again to buy the device and continue the subscription for another year. So I thought before I do that, I think I'm going to research a little bit more and see if, if this device really is fitting my needs. So I, I wrote out the strengths and weaknesses. And the strengths on the whistle... Are, well, it, it's kind of cool looking, so I, I like the way that it looked. came in multiple colors, and, and it, it's not very big, it's not very heavy. It has a long battery life, and it's easy to set up. It's easy to set up and attach to the collar. It's easy to put the phone app on, and it refreshes. That means the picture changes about every three to six minutes. And for most people, that's probably fine. It connects to Wi-Fi, and that helps save your battery life when you're in your Wi-Fi area. It also does fit tracking, so it will tell me if she's active or, or not. It tells me if she's also licking too much or if she's scratching too much. Uh, there's health tracking. And another nice thing about it is it charges with just your basic USB charger. Um, no, no special charging that you had to get for it. So, so those were all the strengths. As far as the weaknesses, I told you about the issues that we had as far as, you know, the, the device having a, a break in it and the, the connector not, uh, breaking. But the biggest problem that I had with it, if, if that had been the only thing, I would have replaced it and gone on. But when I walk outside, I want to be able to hit a button and say, where is the dog? Well, it takes about six minutes um, and I think you can change the setting so it will go down to three minutes before it will start identifying that the dog is missing. And so that really wasn't fitting my needs. Um, I wanted to be able to walk out and say immediately where it is. So this is the, this is the, the app and it shows me, yes, that, that we're both at home and it's right uh, that we are. And, um, but it says it's in power save mode. I don't know if you can read that or not, but it says power save mode. And when it's in power save mode, it doesn't matter what you hit at the bottom. It will not let you go into anything that will start tracking immediately. So that was the problem I had with it. And that's why I decided to research some of the other, other devices. Now, just so that you have an idea of some of the other parts of this app, it does have activity monitor. I haven't had this on her today, um, but 
It does do an activity monitor, tells you the distance, tells you how many calories she's burned. It has a health um, app on it. If she's drinking enough, if she's scratching, if she's licking, if she's sleeping, you can chat with a vet. It's free for a limited time. Um, and so it has some definite benefits. It talks about the dog herself and her, her weight and her size, and you can add pictures if you want to, to-do lists and things like that, what your activity goals are. And then it has essentially the, the settings page. They call that a human. You can set a geo fence around your property. So if, if she goes out of the fence area, once a few minutes have gone by, it will, it will send you a message and tell you that. Um, it'll send you push notifications and email. So it has a lot of, of really nice uh, qualities about it. But again, what I really wanted was something that I could immediately identify her where she was if I went out. So I did all the research again, and the research came back the same. It said, you know, the whistle and the five, these were the two that that uh, were really given the best ratings and and that you know you should you should look at them if you wanted a nice gps system and so what i did next was i said okay then i'm going to try the phi and see how see how it works so i got the phi it comes like this comes a nice box it has multiple colors you can get it's a little bit big it's a little bit heavier but it's it's nice and and stable it, it doesn't feel like it would break at all um and then it comes with, in the back here, you can see it has this port or this dock that is the, essentially the charging dock. It's a base, and this also connects to your Wi-Fi, and it, it helps you save money um, because when it's in this area, it doesn't use as much battery life. So the battery life on this thing is pretty phenomenal. Um, it has your basic plug, and then it has a USB port that, that plugs into it also uh, to charge. But you have to sit the collar on the um, the dock there and that's how it's charged and if you go someplace else and you need to charge it you need to take that with you so they it does it does do a good job as far as the GPS um, is concerned so again I said well let's look at the strengths and weaknesses and we'll figure this out so it cost about hundred and forty nine dollars at least that's the base price I found it interesting because I looked at it and then of course everything starts showing up on Facebook and about two days after I initially looked at it immediate there was a $50 coupon that popped up and that's what I used when I purchased this so I didn't pay 149 I think I paid 99 um, but the the subscription cost uh, about oh, about $99 a year and if you buy more years, you get a discount on the subscription. So those were, you know, they're kind of comparable, really, as far as the price and the outlay. So the strengths, I said, it has a great battery life. It was easy to put on my phone app. It has a refresh rate was a little bit different here. Its refresh rate was every one to three minutes. So again, the whistle was three to six. This was one to three. It also has something called a lost dog mode. So if you go out and you say, okay, I can't find the dog and I need to go into the lost dog mode, and I was pretty excited about this, then you can hit that and it, it gives you a quicker refresh rate. So this is the, this is the app that comes with the, the um, Fi. And I just have the yellow sticky over my address because you don't really need that. But... Um, the lost dog mode will take you to a picture. You can you can um, expand the area. You can make it larger, or you can make it smaller. And as you see, she's now with me. So um, I can hit the lost dog mode. And if I hit the lost dog mode, now it just says she's within 50 feet of me. So you don't need the lost dog mode. Is essentially what it's saying. But another thing that when you do hit the, the lost dog mode, a light comes on. You can see that flashing light on it. And it also um, will help you identify it. And if you want to, you can, you can turn on a light also from the app that just flashes if you're, you're having trouble finding your dog. So, so that was, that's kind of a nice feature of this one. It also kind of has a social media page. 
um, where it shows other dogs that are on fives and people that are, are interacting with them. And you can, you can scroll through there and see their stories. And it tells you as far as activity, what her rank is, you know, is she keeping up with the other dogs? You can do it by breed or you can do it by location. Um, it shows you activity. These are not accurate because I haven't had this on her today. And then it shows, um, you can put up a photo of the dog. You can connect to Instagram. You can edit your profile. So there's lots of, of strengths associated with this. You can set up a safe zone. So your, you can set up your, your geofencing. And um, you can share it with somebody else. Actually, all of these you can share with somebody else. So if you have somebody else that you want to be able to find your dog also. Um, there's a way, on, I believe, on on the Fi that you can set up a dog walker um, so you can track them if they have a dog walker walking them and the dog walker can have access to them also. So those are the two that I thought that this is it. This is, you know, one of these is bound to be what I want. But again, the quickest refresh rate was one minute, one to three minutes. And as I think I said earlier, this dog is fast. She can move. So a friend of mine said, you should try this tractive. Um, I don't think she had a dog. So what she had was um, a child that had a tendency to wander and um, she attaches to his belt and if he took off she could find him immediately. So um, that got my attention and I said well, what do you mean immediately? So I looked into it and the this one it's called tractive. <laughs> tractive. It refreshes every one to three seconds. So I was like, woo, you hoo um, it, it connects, again, you have a phone app. It uses LTE. It has um, not such a great battery life, though. The others are, are saying, you know, a couple of months or, you know, at least, at least they'd last a month. Well, this one lasts uh, three to five days. So I was like, well, I'm not sure what to think about that, but um, I wanted to look at it. So I went ahead and, and got it too. And what was interesting, this device cost $49. And then the yearly subscription was $83.90. And I think you added another $0.80 cents to that per month. Uh, so probably another $12. So it ends up being about the same as the others. And you have this incredible warranty that comes with it. If the dog chews it up, if you lose it, if you do whatever, it says it will replace it. I hope not to have to use that, but I thought that was a really nice um, add-on. So let's look at the strengths. I said good tracking, and it does. It has amazing tracking. Um, I, I tried it a bunch of different ways, and I, I just was, was enthralled by it. I'm getting the app. So I can show you. So this is this is me throwing a ball with her, actually, um, and all over the yard. So the blue line is is just tracking constantly. So it had really good tracking. It had that immediate um, response if you needed it. So you you could go to this stage and you can say if you can see at the top it says live on the top right says live and if you hit the live it will search for her and it it's right now we're in the house and it's starting live tracking and it's connected so it just took that long in order to do it we're not going anywhere but we are connected so um and i have the device in front of me that i'm going to show you in a second so that's kind of the the way that works uh the history you can see where they've been um, activity, you can see how much activity they've had a day. Now, this doesn't have all the bells and whistles of the others. It doesn't tell me if she's licking or scratching or how much she's drinking, but it does show me that, you know, she's been active, and it has a profile on her, so it says where we are. It talks about the virtual fence. It talks about the, you know, live tracking, how, how long I have it set. When you do the live tracking, it uses the battery. And so I came up with a way that what I did was I just 
I just, I take off her collar every night anyway. I don't like her having it on at night and just plug it in. So I just plug it in at night and it recharges and we're good to go. So the other things, let's see what else I had. Um, it's easy set up. It, it costs a little less. The premium subscription has the really good warranty and it's replacement if lost or damaged. And then the weaknesses were the charging cable. So the charging cable is a propriety cable and it, it's not a USB cable. And it, it just kind of sticks onto this with a magnet. Right, here's the device. And on the side, it's, it sticks onto it with a magnet. It's not your classic USB device. So it, um, you know, you do have to have a propriety um, cable to plug it in. The short battery life is, is a distractor, but again, I, I think I figured to work around on that. And um, that's kind of it. It's, it's, it's a little bit longer than the other devices, but it's, it seems like it's still very lightweight. Doesn't seem to bother the dog at all. The quick start guide worked really well with it. And um, I, I like it. And so for me, this was kind of my winner. Because, again, I can walk out there and say, where'd she go? She was just here a second ago. Push a button and I can say, oh, she made it to my neighbor's house. Or she's in the field, you know, down the road. And, and then I can call her. Now, another advantage I found to this in this quick refresh rate is that I also have an electronic collar on her um, that I use sometimes. It has three settings. One's a beep. One, it vibrates, and the other one is if you need to, it can it can shock you. So I you know don't want to use that unless she's heading toward a road or something. But with this with the two together, if I call her, even if I can't see her, I can see that she turned around and she's coming back to me. So I wouldn't activate any of the corrective uh, mechanisms on the other device because she's doing what I wanted her to do. So overall, this is the one that was a winner for me. I think that the others also have some really good strengths, um, especially the battery life. If I could combine the two, it would be heaven um, as far as having everything that I wanted in one device. But since my goal is to be able to push a button and see immediately where she is or within one to three seconds, the, the attractive actually um, won that. So I hope this helps you make a decision. I know there's a few other collars out there that I haven't had a chance to, to look at. And, and so far, I'm, I'm thrilled with this one. So I probably won't be looking further. I am going to return the FI. And I did learn that the shipping cost was up to me. Um, I looked at the whistle return policy also. And I think that I think that probably says the shipping is your responsibility too. Unless you bought it from Amazon and then you could, you know, go through the Amazon return policy. I know that um, there's some places around here that you can take it to a store and they'll, they'll accept Amazon returns. So anyway, I hope that helps and have a great day. Enjoy tracking your dogs and um, that's it. So take care. Bye.